Salve YouTube and welcome to episode number two of my Total War Room 2 Let's Play for the single player. This is uh, the Sparta campaign. Last time you saw how I uh, dispatched one of my Spartan armies uh, directly to attack Apollonia through the sea. We landed uh, near the coastline of Apollonia and took it from uh, Epirus. Epirus was trying to fight the Athenians at the same time and thanks to some cool scouting with Timandra, we were able to get some cool results. So now Tamandra is going to start going around um, the north of Greece into Macedon to see what we can do here. It looks like Pella is empty. So if I am able to capture Larissa, I'll just continue marching on to Pella if Pella remains empty. And at that stage, I'll find a new army in Sparta uh, and uh, maybe even in Apollonia just so I can uh, protect my borders uh, in Greece while I push northwards and maybe eastwards into Ionia. So let me just go ahead and start my timer here. There we go. I think I've done everything yet. Yeah, let's just end the turn. Nope. I've got this guy who needs to be assigned. Um, so he's already he's already got the hope trait. Minus 10 religious building instruction cost, plus two public order. Uh, I'm gonna give this guy a commander as well. There's no, I don't think Warrior really does a lot. Uh, Sparta will get, you know, maybe three or four turns without an army and be okay. Athens uh, is the same. But hopefully, uh, if I can construct some happiness buildings, things will be well. But at the moment, I don't have the money or the resources to do that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and end turn. The only good thing is that I've got a plenty of food. So, uh, if my cities do need expanding, I will be able to expand rather rapidly. So, it looks like the actual first challenge uh, for us here is really going to be uh, fighting the Macedonians. Uh, as uh, the other Athenians here seem to be kind of weak. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, this Epirus army just threw itself at me. It's one Hellenic Royal Guard. Uh, let's be aggressive. Watch it kill like a hundred of my men or something. Oh, only four. We're gonna kill the, uh, the captives. Just because it's, they're just gonna keep throwing themselves at us. And the reason they threw themselves at us that way, that means that, um, uh, as you can see, Athens has actually captured Larissa now, and that is the capital of Athens. That is going to get attacked this turn. I'm going to send my Athenian army, or the army that conquered Athens, and the army that conquered Apollonia at we the do same not time. Beg for gold. So, uh, Nosos wants to trade. trade with us. That is fine. Little do they know that we are going to be attacking them very shortly. Uh, to get our Hellenic uh, province bonus. And then after that, we can start focusing towards the northern invasion uh, into Macedon. Ares Dread, the brave men of this army have known many victories. Which one? Get an agent exposed. So this army, we as you can see, Athens is now becoming uh, more happy, as is Sparta. We've got Electra here. That is totally a porn star name. Ready for orders. Um, I am going to actually ignore that. Um, let's see if we can get... Uh, so, there's a navy there. Let's see if we can get Tamandra back close to Athens. See what kind of Athenian armies await us here. We've got decent armies of hoplites. Uh, but nonetheless, I don't think they're going to be able to really fight us. What I'm going to do is chase this Epirus army off the field. I'm gonna just go ahead and kill that really quickly. Kill the two people we did capture. That is gonna give my general some rank, which is fantastic. Oh, look at that. The army actually get a tradition. We are going to do... Mm, that is gonna be useful. And I'm also going to do general. Alright, technologies. I believe we just finished this civil civic one. Uh, and let's do stuff that'll give us food and happiness for the beginning. Um. Tax raid, public order. 
cultural conversion. I don't really need cultural conversion since I'm just kind of focused at Gree. I like this one. Uh, but this, this kind of favors growth. I think the best one is going to be the economy one. Anyway. Commander, uh, we are command. going to march here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We and now we're going to gonna declare war against the Athenians. Uh, I'm not really going to call anybody. And go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I had to press. War declared. We are now at war with the Athenians. One of the Athenian armies Forgive actually me, completely went uh, away. None will escape. We'll continue pushing here. We do have two to two armies. Um, I mean, it is in our favor, uh, but I am going to fight this one just because you don't really know how the AI will sort of pan out for you. And I do want to try to sustain the least amount of casualties possible because I have many other invasions to worry about. After Larissa. So that means Epirus and Athens taken out by like turn 4 or 5. That's really awesome. Sparta has quickly regained hegemony and returned to what it was in 400 BC when it basically controlled everyone. I don't like the fog. I'm going to wait. Let's wait again. Perfect weather. Let's do this. Alright, so I will have a supporting army coming from this area, as you can see from the yellow triangle. So in the meantime, I'm actually going to uh, deploy these guys back here. Ready for orders. These are my, these are my hoplites. My pikes are here. Here's my general. Put him here for now. Start the battle. Wait for uh, some reinforcements to enter. Here they are. Welcome to the battle, friends. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Yeah, I am aware of that. I could have just waited for Athens to try to engage me, but I just want to get them out of the picture as soon as possible. Uh, their their hoplites are going to be better than my hoplites, but I think the key is for me to be able to engage them. Um, so now we have a lot of missile component, as you can see. I'm going to give my slingers one, my javelin and two. My pikes, three. My hoplites. Or no, these are the pikes. Four. And then these guys will get five. So that's awesome. So let's go one and... Alright, let's do this. So this city has one entrance from here. A main one. It also has a side entrance over there. It, that looks like where the reinforcements are coming from, so I'm gonna try to get to enter from these two points over here. All right, so let's send these guys, um, or maybe we can rush into the market area here very quickly. Let's try that. So that's one, two, and then I can get my three here, my four here. And my five here. Um, I don't need everybody running. Uh, but let's just take a look at the army. The awesome came out. Here are my slingers. Followed closely behind him is the Athenian conquering army. Look at these cool ass Spartans. There is the general of the army. Pretty awesome stuff. Cool looking cloaks there, buddy. Here are my pikes. And my supporting army is also uh, closely following by. They want to get some of the action too. So let's go ahead and speed this up. We do have 60 minutes to kind of get it done with. So that's plenty of time. Hopefully the Athenians would be, um, would not be too strong just because they've been fighting a lot of battles and they are demoralized because their capital is now controlled by the Spartans and little do they know that soon all the remaining Athenian citizens are going to be treated in Helot status. Right, so 
Still don't see any of the enemy units. We actually just saw two of them coming in from the eastern point here. Oh, actually, is that the eastern point? Oh, the sun is there. So that's west. That's east. So it is the eastern point. Okay. Get these guys over there. I'm going to cut the video and bring it when it's a little bit uh, uh, of more of an interesting part. Right, and we're back. You can see that... Um, uh, the city here is not really doing too well. It's been at, at war for the past Slingers! few turns. So we've begun to see some of the early units of the Athenians. They do have some strong hoplite units here. And the best way to deal with these hoplites is to... Um, at the devil. Quick march. It's to Always pelt understood. at them with my yes, skirmishers. I'm going to move my skirmishers Advance here first. Quick march. Come on. There we go. Oh, they're still quite a distance away, but that's cool. These guys are probably going to take a while to get there. But that's all fine and dandy. I don't think these hoplites are going to be coming out of the city, so let's see what the AI is kind of... Protecting this part, this main entrance here. They're also protecting these roads, this road, this area. I guess they're trying to do a decent job in protecting all of the main entries, but I'm just going to powerhouse through one of them. Maybe sent my elite troops down this main road here. Just to help a little bit. Right, come on. We await your command. Cool thing about these guys is that they probably will not tire. I don't see any skirmishers here, but it looks like the enemy has noticed my movements. They're moving their light hoplites. They do have a lot of hoplites. These are going to be tough units to break, just because the quality of my troops isn't really that much better. Advance at speed. Right, let's get our uh, Helot Javelins up here. Uh, actually, it looks like we're going to have to stop yes, the entrance of the city. Yours to command. Uh, the Slingers are going to stand here. I'm going to use the skirmish to the best of my ability. Quick march! Fire in and unison. Speed. Orders understood. Ready. By your command. Here we go. The army is slowly starting to march into place. Ready and waiting. Take this is going to charge us. Missile infantry at your command. Gonna fire here and run back. Ready. Ready and waiting. Fire, gonna fire here enemy. and run back. At speed. So we've killed about. Orders killed a good number of takes. men. Pikes my pikes are here. We're gonna run my pike forward. Perioikoi in place. And Phalanx attack. Ready for orders. orders. Let's get the, another line of periodicals here. Yes, commanders. Ready and waiting. Orders understood. Double time. Ready. We start squeezing at them. Orders. Get the javelin men here. Advance at speed. Missile infantry. Periodicoi hoplites. Now activate our phalanx. Periodicoi pikemen. Missile infantry. Let's get all of our missiles to target one of the units at once. At the Slingers! Everyone is firing at once. Let's get our general in here. Inspire this unit. So I'm gonna run here and screen with this. Yeah. Get the pikemen lined up as fast as possible. Here we go, the rest of my units are slowly getting here. Periodicoi 
There we go. Our phalanx has engaged. Got some close-ups for you guys here in a minute. Oops. So here's some pike on phalanx action going on. Spark units are gonna have a pretty bad time trying. Uh, these sorry hoplite units are gonna have a pretty bad time trying to. Um, We're gonna smash into that with force. Still have a lot of reserve, so that's good. The battle is raging. Let's get some steady. Our general is under attack. Our general is fine. Let's inspire this unit so that they can fight better so we've killed the enemy general that's awesome okay so it looks like my pikemen here aren't doing too hot let's get some hoplites in here as fast as possible spikes are getting pretty exhausted at the moment are pretty hectic all right so let's move everyone in now There we go. That seems to have wrapped it up. A Spartan victory was inevitable all along. We lost 400 men and we killed 1200 men. That's a pretty decent number. Now Athens is out of the picture alongside Epirus and we are pretty much the only mainland Greek state that has maintained its power. Woo! Look at that pike in it. It killed 153 guys. It's insane, man. Spartan pikes. Well, they're not actually Spartan pikes. They're like the shittier pikes. Hoplites don't do well against pike phalanxes. They don't do well at all. So we have backstabbed Athens essentially. What I'm worried about is that this army of Epirus is actually going to attack me. I'm going to occupy Athens. We get some traditions here, which is good. Ready for battle. Now, this army is not done yet. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to head out with them. I probably I need to send them back control. here. Athens is probably going to be attacking anytime now. Uh, so is Larissa. So I'm going to be leaving Athens unprotected this turn. And um, let's see here. Yeah, these, these navies. But they don't have a lot on the navy, so I'm not too worried. Uh, this army, though. Yeah, that could be troublesome. I don't think Apollonia will be able to handle it on its own. Hmm. All right, well, I'll leave that be for now. Uh, it seems that Athens is ready to get some upgrades, so I'm going to go with a... A fishing port will give me less public order. I want something with public order. So this gives me food and experience to agent. 
plus 5% public order per turn. Plus 525. I'm actually going to go with a amphitheater in Athens. And as for Sparta, Sparta is not really in the need to expand right now. This requires... Oh, I just don't have a sufficient funds. I don't know about that. I think there might be something else. Uh, 100 wealth. Cultural building. This gives me food. I'm going to be expanding a lot of cities soon, so I'm going to go with the food for now. The more food I can get early on, the better. Um, what do you wish of me? Can't get there this turn. Um, let's go back up to Macedon and Swift explore and what's going on there. Uh, what are we researching? Researching that. Uh, and I still have to worry about army traditions. Ready for battle. Okay, so here we go. We are going to get... Um, this over here. Spear fighters. Formidable spears. What about this one? We hunger nope, for that battle. army is fine. Commander. I fear that Apollonia is inevitably going to get retaken by the uh, Epirus oh, forces, yeah, yeah. but really, there is not much that I can do about that. I will take their eyes. What is this? Chance of detecting hidden ages, armies. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, let's end the turn. Alright, so let's see what Athens does. And let's see what Epirus does. Uh, so the Macedonians are reinforcing Pella. Looks like they've learned from what I've done to their fellow southern Greeks. And... Nope, they left instantly. So yeah, Athens is now going to try and blockade us. We'll blockade their old city and... Uh, oh, let's see here. They actually want to attack me. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and auto-resolve that. Protective stance. We get a decisive victory and we butcher the remaining Athenians as they wander the coast of mainland Greece. Apollonia is going to get attacked. And wow. How am I getting this? Is this my... Wow, that's actually my... Um, my garrison. That is fantastic. Balance stats. Oh, oh, son. Son, you just got done. Zero remaining. We killed everybody. Kill them all. Well, we already did kill them all. I can't wait for this Lucids to be available. I really want to play as them. Alright, so things are looking really well for us right now. I mean, knock on wood. Um, this is going pretty, pretty, pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. I'll have one more turn and then probably end this episode. So, they want 100 for a non-aggression pact. This is Nosos. Um, how about this, Mr. Nosos? You are going to need to prepare yourself because you're next. So I am not actually going to agree to that. Because if I do write a treaty and then attack them, I think I get a, a debuff or something. Alright, let's just wait for this turn to wrap up. I'm actually surprised that my garrison was that strong. Trespasser RDI. Where is this? these guys really it's not a problem all right so Apollonia um, Larissa needs some upgrading yeah see this is gonna take some of our food out now so that's why I've been building food buildings um, can I actually set. attack her assassination 50% chance of success. Um, we could do manipulation. Joining your, your cause by appealing. I like this. It's 63%. Let's tempt her. 
Aparta has taught me much. So let's see what we get. You will be tempted to join us. Oh, the agent did not get the enemy to join your cause. The enemy's progress was slowed. This is good news. Your oh, agent has a higher gets rank. Some rank. Well done. Uh, agent spy antagonist. So agent gives me five critical success in all actions, evading or movement. I'm gonna go with agent. Well done. Your agent has a new um, skill. Pella looks really powerful right now. This army is going to be pretty tough with these companion cavalry to deal with. Uh, so I'm actually going to hold out a little bit. Ready for orders. On these Spartan. Ready for battle. Oh, not the Spartans. Why did I say Spartans? Okay, so these are building. Technology is going well. We um, hunger for I think battle. I'm just gonna Ready head out orders. to Nassos. Ready for battle. Uh, I'm worried about Apollonia, so I'm. I, I am going to send an patrols. army up there. Uh, I don't think Larissa is at any immediate at risk. So I'm gonna send my forces to the southern tip of Sparta. Make haste, men. And then from there, we're going to take ships and head over to Nosos. Nosos has a really strong army, actually. Commander. So let's get some units ourselves. We're going to get some Spartan Hoplites. We can only get two this turn. And a Slinger. Next turn, we'll recruit one more. And do what we got to do. So now, I'm thinking about Rome for the future. There are two things I could probably do with Rome. I could probably try to course uh, to coax an alliance out of them, and at the same time, I can maybe um, uh, start expanding more eastwards. Or I can just decide, hey, let's be friends with Carthage and help attack. So these guys are just gonna keep trying to do this, aren't they? Just gonna keep throwing their shit at my shit and hoping that shit happens. I actually lost a good number of men. But one more turn and those Athenians will be forced to forget about their glory days. Hmm. I'm just thinking, maybe it would be a good idea to attack the Macedonians right now because obviously they've just sent all their armies up to near Pelpadeva. So they're either fighting some sort of Gaulish troops or Gallic troop that came from Navisos. Maybe they're not Gauls, maybe they're Celts, I'm not sure. Or they could be fighting Thrace. Uh, but what is for sure is that Macedon will the gods probably speak and storm, not but be they tell us to ally. as easy to conquer later in the future. And the Nosos people just keep wanting to, you know, strike some sort of pact with me. It's very obvious that they're <laughs> that they're afraid. They've seen what happened to their fellow Spart uh, to their fellow Greeks up north, and they're worried that they're next. Well, guess what, Nosos? You are correct. So you are next, and we are coming for you. Canis, your forces have found a concealed foreign agent. By wary of, be wary of their intentions. By wary. Well, all right, let's try this again. So I get more boost to persuasion now. A woman's words. Let's see if we can persuade her failed really come on man I'm just wasting money doing this all right so I thought Apollonia was in trouble at your command but I'm actually going to head right into Pella March. through the Apollonian territory Gathering supplies. I'm sorry Macedon Commander. but you will have to suffer we hunger for battle so over here we're just gonna march to the tip of Sparta you have further orders. And then we're gonna recruit two more Spartan hoplites. And end that turn. 
once we take Nosos, things are going to start really looking up. And if I manage to take Pella as well, I'll be getting two provincial bonus. The bonus for Macedonia and the bonus for the Athens province. So that would be really a really good start for this campaign for now. I mean, some people have been complaining that the campaign is a little too easy. Uh, even on, you know, the hardest difficulties. I'm not really sure. All I know is that I really enjoy it. And I get um, easily immersed uh, in there. So Athens just keeps attacking. I'm going to um, kill them back. I think this will be a... Just wrap up the next turn and then um, uh, end this episode over here. So we're going to kill everyone and I think that's going to be the end of Athens. I wonder how Rome is doing with the Etruscan League in this in this uh, in this session. In fact, you know what? We'll just go ahead and start the next episode on the next turn. Um, if anything major happens in the turn progression, I'll let you guys know. Uh, please do leave a comment, uh, giving me some just advice, or maybe you have something to say. Also, thumbs, uh, thumbing up the video would be awesome. You don't really have to, but it does kind of motivate me and uh, help the video and the channel in general get a little bit more exposure. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.